So the answer is the third choice. These data structures are getting complicated enough that they're fairly hard to read. We need to think about what components we need to represent the hash table. And the main component we need is a way of representing a bucket. So here's our picture of our hash table. What we want is a list. This is going to be the list where each element in the list is a bucket. And what a bucket is, is a list itself, where each element in that list is a key and a value. In our case, the key is the word. The value is the list of URLs. So the structure that corresponds to that most closely is this one, where we have a list, each inner list here. So this corresponds to a bucket. And then within the bucket, a word and a list of URLs is one entry. This corresponds to what the entries were in our previous index. But now, because we want to make it a hash table, we're going to collect them in buckets. So list of those entries. And each element in the outer list corresponds to one bucket. 